Good day everyone! Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple front page using the Word Art. So first, I'm going to open the Microsoft Word. I am using the 2013 version. And if you have a lower version of it or even higher version of Word, most functions I've been using will still be applicable on what version of Word you are using. You can watch my previous video about Word as the guide tutorial for beginners. So let's click the blank document. Now here, you can zoom in your document by holding the control and scroll your mouse like this. Okay. So first, let's put some header. To do that, just double click here at the top of your document. Or you can go to insert tab and click the header. So there are many templates there. So we're going to click the blank. So sometimes in header, you will see the name of the institution or the company as well as the logo. So let's create some header. Then if you are done, just highlight it. There are some features that pop up on the screen. But I'd like to go to home tab because there are so many more features there. You can see the font group, paragraph group, and styles group. So in styles group, just click the no spacing. And I'm going to go to paragraph group. We have four alignments there. So we're going to click the center alignment. And now, I'm going to change my font style. Just click it here. And I think I'm going to click the Arial. And at the font size, I'm going to click the 12. And that's it. I have now a header. Okay? So now, let's highlight the name. I want it to make it the text harder. So just click here the B or the bold for the text. And that's it. I'm good for this. Okay, so let's add some logo. Just click the insert tab and find any pictures on your desktop. Just go to pictures and look for your picture or logo. If you find it, just click the insert tab. Okay, so now you have now the logo. But I'm struggling here, so I would like to go to Format tab, and I'm going to click the wrap text. So there are some positions of text there. So I would like to choose the in front of text. And so now we can move it freely, like this. So I can move it here. And I want to resize it, like this one, and here. So I think I'm going to add some picture here, or logo. I'm going to click the insert, just same process. Just go to pictures and add some logo. Just click insert if you are done. So I have here now the logo. Then I'm going to resize it. As you can see, there are small boxes here. Just click and resize it by pressing and holding the mouse and move the mouse freely like this. Okay, then resize it like this. So next, click the format tab, then on the wrap text, I'm choose in front of text. Now you can move the logo freely. I'm going to resize it, like this one. And I think it's good for me. Now, I'm going to create an underline. I'm using an underscore. Just click the shift and hold the underscore. Okay, then I think it's okay. Now let's go to the design tab and click the close header. So now we have now the header here. So next, let's focus on the word art. Let's go to the insert tab and I'm going to click the word art. Now in the word art, there are so many templates there. I want to choose one like this one. Then, there's something pop up on my window, so it's letting me to input some text. So I think I'm going to write. And I think I'm done. 
So here in font, you can change the font here. Just click it and choose any font there. You can see the preview line here. You can select again if you did not convince. So I think it's okay for me. Then let's click the OK. Now you have now your output there. Okay, so let's go to format sub and click the wrap text. And I'm choose the in front of text so I can now move it freely like this. Now let's resize it like this one. And and there are some other features in the format sub. You can see the shadow effects. You can choose one of these. I think this would for me. Okay, so I can zoom out this. Now, now let's copy this word art. Just right click and copy. Then right click it again and unclick the paste button. So you have now the another copy of your word art. Then I would like to right click again and paste it. So you have now three copies of your word art. Now let's move it here below. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is edit this two text. I'm going first here, then right click and edit the text. So now I try to edit this one, like for example, in the subject because like for example I am a student and I'm going to pass a project proposal or something project to my teacher then click OK if you were done so I think it much bigger so I would like to resize it by clicking the small boxes here so like this one And let's move it here. Then let's go to another word art. Just click it and right click this word art. Then click the edit text. Then we're going to edit that. Then click OK if you were done. Now I think it's OK for me. So just a simple retouch there. Okay, so that's it. I have now the word art on my document. So now here below, just double click it here. Now if you'd like to create some text, you can write it down below. So if you're going to submit this paper or create the prepared by option, so you can write it down. Now all you have to do is highlight this one and go to font function Let's change the font style. I'm going with Arial rounded. Then I'm gonna click the center alignment Now I'm going to change the font size. I think it's 14 and Now let's click it here Okay, then enter Then now, highlight the, your name and your picture. So just click the control, hold it, and highlight your name as well as your teacher while holding your control. Then just go to the size and change to, I think, 18. Okay, so that's good. It's okay for me. Now, let's add some borders. To do that, just click the design tab. And we see the page borders here so just click it and you can see the types of borders here so i think this one is good for me and if we'd like to change the width of it then i'm going to click it and like for example six point then click ok then you can see the sample borders here okay 
So cool. So if you'd like to change it, just click it again. And you can select any designs here. As you can see, there is an art here. So you can click it. Then you can see many arts there. Okay. I think this one is good. Now you can create the width. You can see the preview here. And just click the OK if you were done. So great. Now you know how an amazing page borders. Okay, so I think that's good for me. And at the next videos, let's focus on the text boxes. So see you on the next video.